By the time you're in a divorce lawyer's office, you're fucked. The whole thing's fucked at that point. Like you'd be better off just, you know, figuring out the preventative maintenance, right? Like change the oil in your car. Like, so I, what I try to, if you reverse engineer divorce, like most people, the marriage killer, you know, the, like the cheating or the gambling or the whatever, that's the symptom. Like the, 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 the problem is these little disconnections, you know, one of the, one of the, one of the best stories I, I have is my, I had a client who I, I did her divorce and we'd spend a lot of time together because you do, you know, when you're a divorce lawyer, you spend a lot of time with people and you get to know them very well. I mean, people will lie to their therapist they won't lie to their divorce lawyer because A, there's no reason to, and B, they, you know, I need to know everything and, and it's all attorney client privilege. And this woman, we were sitting outside the courtroom waiting on a break in testimony. And she was a young woman in her, in her probably like late thirties, you know, very attractive. And we were just chit chatting. And I said to her, you know, was there a moment when you realized the marriage is over, you know, like, was there a moment? And she said, yeah, yeah. And I said, when, when was it? And she said, I, there was this granola that I like. She said, I, 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 they only sold it at like this particular grocery store. And I like to put it in my yogurt. And she said, he used to always, whenever I'd be running low on it, I would just open the thing one day and a, a new bag would be there. She's like, and I, I just, she's like, it made me feel so loved. Like he didn't, I didn't have to ask. He didn't want credit for it. Like he didn't go like, oh, did you see? I got your granola that you wanted, you know? Like he just would do this thing, you know? And she said, it was just something that like, I just, it always made me smile. She said, every time the granola was running low and there was a new bag of granola, I just felt very loved, you know? And she said, one day the granola ran out. And I thought, oh, that's weird. You know, maybe, maybe he didn't see it. She's like, so I left the bag in there because I thought, well, at some point he'll notice. And he didn't notice. She goes, so I took the bag out and I waited and he didn't get a new bag. And I thought, okay, this thing's going down. And I thought to myself, wow, that's like, you know, that's such a small thing, like granola, like you just, but, but these are the things, like these are the little things that make us feel loved and that are gestures of love. And when I said to her, was there anything like that for you with him? And she said, yeah, blowjobs. Mm. And I almost spit out my coffee. And she goes, no, she goes, when we were first dating and even first married, she's like, I used to give him blowjobs a lot. She's like, you know, she's like, do it in the morning, took two minutes. And he was like super happy the rest of the day, you know? She's like the rest of the day, he would like call me or text me and be like, oh, that was so good this morning. You know, I had such pep in my step now. And she's like, it was just like, what did it really take out of my life to do that? You know, and it made him feel good. She's like, and then I got to a point where I was like, well, you know what? No, I'll wait. And then tonight we can both, ha we can have sex and we'll both enjoy that. Like, what is, I owe him a blowjob? Like, no, you know, like I don't owe him that, you know? And, and, and then she said, I got to a point where it was like, I look back and I'm like, yeah, I guess I, I didn't do that as often, hardly ever really, which you know, came, which came first. You know, I said that to her and she said, I, I, she said, I couldn't tell you. She said, but I think it's the same thing. It's the same thing. And I do think it's the same thing. Yeah. And I'm not saying blowjobs and granola is all you need to know, but, <laughs> and I'm not, by the way, I'm not saying that, that a blowjob is a small thing. I don't think I have any right to, I've never given one, but it seems like a phenomenal feat. And I, I, I'm grateful for everyone I've ever received, but I don't, I, I don't think it's a massive investment. Right? Just like buying someone's granola is not yeah, a mess. But, but, like, but when you love somebody, you love doing things for them. Right. Their pleasure you, you, pleases you. you. Their, life their joy pleases you. You know, their happiness makes you happy.